Welcome back. You know, in years past, body art could have been seen as taboo or reserved for a certain group of individuals in society. But today, a lot of folks, young and old, are experimenting with getting tattoos. So this morning, Ashley Kirkland joins us live from Sacred Tattoo Studio in Marquette to help us learn more about what's become an art form. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Vicki. That's right. We're here at Sacred Tattoo Studio in Marquette. And for people that haven't been in a tattoo shop or a parlor in years, and they have this notion that it's a smelly place, smoky place where bikers and tattoo artists hang out. Um, this place really debunks that, that notion. It really is sort of like an art studio. If you see behind me, they have what you call a flash, which can be inspiration for people who are coming in to get tattoos. And also over there on the wall, they have graphics hanging or posted of tattoos that artists have already completed, uh, which are really considered works of art on the body. Um, a little bit later, as you can see, Dan Pimble here is one of the artists. He's working on a graphic on the computer for a tattoo that he's going to do later on. But a little later in the show, he'll show us just some of the arts of work that he's done in the past, tell us what it takes to be a tattoo artist, as well as show us some of his tools and just really answer some questions that we might have about tattoos. And maybe, um, maybe I'll get a tattoo. I don't know. <laughs> but I'll take it back to you in the studio. I have to ask my mom first. <laughs> Ashley Kirkland reporting live in Marquette, TV6 News. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Ashley. And just keep us posted on that, okay? Welcome now, back, everybody. Seems like these days just about everybody has a tattoo or maybe know someone that has a tattoo. It once seemed to be a fad reserved for younger people or the rougher crowd, but it's now very mainstream and considered body art. Ashley Kirkland has been at Sacred Tattoo Studio in Marquette. She's got more for us today. Morning, Ashley. Good morning, Vicki. That's right. We're back here at Sacred Arts tattoo studio in Marquette and I am sitting right now in their design part of the studio where the tattoo artists come to kind of stencil out and design the artwork before they tattoo them on on people's bodies and like I said before the tattoo industry has really evolved over the past 10 and 20 years and become a really respected profession in the art industry and I'm joined right now by tattoo artist Dan Pimble who is uh, sketching something that he's going to work on a little bit later. Um, Dan, can you tell us about this piece of art? It looks really intricate. Yeah, um, well what I'm working on today is kind of a photorealistic piece, so as opposed to something that I would draw out um, out of my head or whatever, I'm actually referencing a photograph, almost like a portrait if, I, if somebody brought in a photo of their mother or something and wanted it tattooed. I wouldn't look at mother or a photo and try to draw it. I would just replicate that existing photo. So that's essentially what I'm doing today. It's just with a kind of a statuesque figure. And so I just used Photoshop to print it off and then I'll make my stencil off of that and then use that photo as a reference while I'm tattooing it. Okay, and you didn't d just decide that you wanted to start drawing on people one day. You have a very um, extensive background. Can you tell us about your background and how you got started? Yeah, I was um, an illustration major at Northern Michigan University and um, have always been into art, I mean, since I was real young. So I always knew that what I did for my profession would involve art. I never knew it would really uh, be tattooing specifically, but uh, I knew it would be art that... Uh, uh, allowed me to make a living so um, yeah out of out of college a couple years I was doing graphic design and never really made it um, much of a priority I suppose and then I discovered tattooing and that was kind of the end of it okay and uh, you guys use very um, you know technology that is really up to speed and up to date can you tell us about the technology that you have here for the design studio yeah, well, I would say still a vast majority of what we do is the old-fashioned way, just pens and pencils, um, good old-fashioned drawing. Um, but utilizing technology in any way that we can is always beneficial. So in this instance, I'm using uh, just a Photoshop program to size this thing appropriately. Uh, the photo was a little bit washed out, so I was able to adjust the levels a little bit and kind of bring out that contrast, and that's what's going to make a really great tattoo. And lastly, it's, the industry has really evolved over the past 10, 20 years. How, how has that um, happened, you know, where it, it really come from a taboo thing to really being like a work of art? Um, technology's definitely had a lot to do with that. Um, definitely the internet, the way that information travels nowadays uh, so fast, um, say six, 
as early as six or eight years ago, if you did a tattoo, the earliest that thing might make um, publication would be six months. You know, you would need to take the photo, print the photo, send it to an editor. It would have to get printed in a magazine, and just information traveled so much slower. Where nowadays, um, with the internet, is as it is as such. There's um, information just travels so fast. I can do a tattoo, and it'll be. Uh, all over the internet in minutes. Okay. And I can imagine this is a multi-million dollar industry because I've seen the magazines and the shows and everything that has to do with tattoos. So it's very lucrative, right? Well, I suppose it could be. <laughs> um, you know, there's tons of different levels and tons of things that go into that, you know, any business. So um, I think the industry is growing so fast that it seems that there's a lot of money there, but it's just because of the number of tattoo artists out there. All right, thank you, Dan. Um, now, a little bit later, Dan's going to show us some of the tools that he used to do in his own personal station in the studio, and I'll take it back to you in the studio right now, Ashley Kirkland, reporting live in Marquette, TV6 News. All right, thank you very much, Ashley, and I'll Welcome tell you back, everyone. If you're thinking about getting a tattoo, it's important to know the pros and cons before you make the decision to mark your body. And TV6's Ashley Kirkland is at a tattoo studio with an artist to give us more insight on tattoos. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Greg. That's right. We're back at the ta Sacred Studio in Marquette, and we are talking with Dan Pimble, one of the tattoo artists here. Dan, can you tell us a little bit more about the tools that you have here that you use for tattoos? Yeah, um, I, cra I grabbed just a couple different tattoo machines just to show you guys. This is a rotary machine, and it's running right now, so you can kind of hear that it's really quiet. And... Uh, it's kind of been a big resurgence in those in uh, recent years. They have a little bit different mechanism, but do the exact same thing as a traditional coil machine. And that's the, uh, the noise I think that everyone is familiar with, the, uh, you know, the hum. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I still use both very frequently. Um, I grab a needle and a tube just to show you guys uh, those as well. Um, we're a fully disposable shop. Um, it's still not an industry standard yet. A lot of shops are still using steel tubes, which is completely safe. Uh, they pass them through a medical grade sterilization process. Um, we do it more so probably out of convenience than anything. Um, there's no fuss in cleaning or uh, scrubbing tools and sterilizing. We just uh, use them one time and then they go in the garbage. Um, so yeah, just a couple things I grabbed to show you. And so when you have someone that's come in for the first time to get a tattoo or they're extremely nervous, what are some things that you do to calm them down? Um, typically, just good customer service where it goes a long way. Um, you know, just reassuring them and kind of doing some coaching, especially once the tattoo is underway. If they're having a hard time, you can usually um, avoid any situations just by some good coaching. Okay. And these artworks that we see on the wall over here, these are actually tattoos that you've done and designed. And so we're going to take a look at one right now. I know that Vicki was interested in what p parts of the body are better for people to get tattoos if they're with the pain? Um, what's less painful? Um, well, everybody is a little bit different, but there's certainly areas on your body that can hurt a little bit more than others. Uh, we always encourage people to get the tattoo where you want it. Don't let uh, the pain factor be your deciding factor on where to get one or not to get one. Um, the pain is so temporary compared to the permanence of the tattoo. So. Um, we always encourage people, you know, get it where you're, where you're inclined to get it, and the pain is uh, really secondary. Um, but <laughs> the foot is definitely a tender spot. Tell us about this tattoo and the man hours that it took and, you know, how long this took to do. Um, I believe it was two sessions, um, so that'll often happen with a little bit bigger projects. Uh, so we probably outlined it and did all the black shading in one session, and then you give it a usually about two weeks of a healing healing time before they can come back in for their second session and that's when we would have done the color. Okay and I have a foot tattoo and I know for a fact that this is very painful because there's less skin and more bone down there so uh, is that something that you recommend for a first time tattoo getter? Um, again we would uh, we would recommend encourage you to get it where you want if, if the foot is where you've envision this tattoo all along then go ahead and do it the uh it's such a temporary feeling but um yeah it is true there's um a lot of nerve endings in your feet and that's typically what's going to cause uh, make one spot more painful than a, than an, another spot is is your nerves and everyone is a bit different but there's certainly some tender spots yeah 
All right, well, thank you so much, Dan, for being here this early um, yeah. and talking to us about tattoos. And Greg, if you're ever thinking about getting a tattoo, come down and talk to Dan. But I'll take it back to you in the studio for now. Ashley Kirkland reporting live in Marquette TV6 News. All right, thank you, Ashley. And